happens if Dorian doesn't agree? Hopefully that will be the end of it. If not, well, that's why you should be there. Hmm. Why would his family contact you? Because they don't know you, Inquisitor. I am not of the Imperial Chancery, but they know what I represent. These are parents concerned about the welfare of their son. How could I not do whatever possible? I would speak to the young man myself, but he does not care for me. Thus I come to you. If any good can come of this, we must try. They don't want Dorian to know. That seems odd. They believe the young man would refuse, and the rector implies he'd have thought. Yet, they are remorseful for whatever came before. This is a chance for dialogue. There is deceit in bringing the young man to this meeting. Without his foreknowledge, I know. But does it not lead to a greater kindness if there is potential for reconciliation? Are, are you sure this isn't some kind of trap? I mean, the secrecy. Let it occur to me. What if it is a plot of those mages, the Venatori? Another reason to put this in your hands, Inquisitor. I pray that isn't the case. But if it is, you are far better equipped than I to respond to such treachery. I'll see what I can do. Bless you, Inquisitor. It's probably a trap. Truly does not wish this reunion. He can always end the matter there. I shall pray for your success and the young man's happiness. That's all we can hope for. Did Agreed, but I want to talk to Dorian about the letter. He deserves to know. I, I probably shouldn't, but I'm not gonna like force him down. Something you need? Dorian, there's a letter you need to see. A letter? Is it a naughty letter? A humorous proposal nope. from some Antiban dowager? Nope. Not quite. It's from your father. From my father? I see. And what does Magister Hallwood want, pray tell? A meeting. Show me this letter. I know my son. What my father knows of me would barely fill a thimble. This is so typical. I'm willing to bet this retainer is a henchman hired to knock me on the head and drag me back to Tavinta. Hmm. He's probably right. This could be the Venatori. Lure us somewhere remote, then an ambush. Perhaps. Although this does look like my father's penmanship. Or, could he have joined the Venatori? No, that can't. Well, anything is possible. Let's go. Let's meet this so-called family retainer. If it's a trap, we escape and kill everyone. You're good at that. If it's yeah. not, I send the man back to my father with a message that he can stick his alarm in his wit's end. There seems to be bad blood between you and your family. <laughs> Interesting turn of phrase. But you're correct. They don't care for my choices, nor I for theirs. Because you wouldn't get married. Because you left. That too. Let's go meet this retainer then. I wonder how much my father paid this man to wait around just in case I show. <sighs> we'll find out soon enough. Yeah. So where's the... Golden Lantern, I think it's called. I think it's in the Hinderlands, correct? Yeah, it's in the Hinderlands. And it's actually here. In do, 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 do. I'm going to do this mission quickly and probably end it there. This mission probably won't be very long.
hopefully, hopefully this mission won't be very long. As my voice went out. Well, this loading screen might make this mission very long. Alright. We should look around. Well, it's back here. It's in there, but you can't get in there. Why? Oh, get up there. Yeah. Can't do anything else. Yeah, it's in the building. You can't get in the building, which is which is bullshit. Oh well. Let's just get to the tavern and end this. Hurry up. Get to the cutscene. I know there's a cutscene. Uh oh. Nobody's here. This doesn't bode well. Dorian. Father. The whole story about the family retainer was just, what, a smokescreen? Then you were told. I apologize for the deception, Inquisitor. I never intended for you to be involved. Of course not. Magister Parvis couldn't come to Skyhold and be seen with the dread Inquisitor. What would people think? What is this exactly, Father? Ambush? Kidnapping? A warm family reunion? This is how it has always been. You went through all of this to get Dorian here. Talk to him. Yes, father. Talk to me. Let me hear how mystified you are by my anger. Dorian, there's no need to. I prefer the company of men. My father disapproves. I'll need you to explain that. Did I stutter? Men and the company thereof as insects. Surely you've heard of it. This is not exactly news, Dorian. And why should it be? Why should anyone care? I have no idea. This display is uncalled for. No, it is called for. You called for it by luring me here. This is not what I wanted. I'm never what you wanted, Father. Or had you forgotten? That's a big concern in Tavinta, then. Only if you're trying to live up to an impossible standard. Every Tavinta family is intermarrying to distill the perfect mage, perfect body, perfect mind. The perfect leader. It means every perceived flaw, every aberration is deviant and shameful. It must be hidden.
So that's what all of this is about. Who you sleep with. That's not all it's about. Dorian, please. If you'll only listen to me. Why? So you can spout more convenient lies? He taught me to hate blood magic. The resort of the weak mind. Those are his words. But what was the first thing you did when your precious heir refused to play pretend for the rest of his life? You tried to change me. I only wanted what was best for you. You wanted the best for you. Your fucking legacy. Anything for that. I think it's time we left. I agree. That's it. All right. Let's wait till this cutscene and see if there's anything else. I don't think there will be anything else. I thought it was going to be a Venomtory ambush. But it wasn't. And then all of a sudden we get ambushed by Venatorians. Oh, there is another cutscene. He's a good man, my father. Deep down. He taught me principle is important. He cares for me in his way, mm -hmm. but he won't ever change. I can't forgive him for what he did. I won't. He tried to change you. Out of desperation. I wouldn't put on a show, marry the girl, keep everything unsavory, private and locked away. Selfish, I suppose. Not to want to spend my entire life screaming on the inside. He was going to do a blood ritual. Alter my mind. Make me... acceptable. I found out. I left. Can blood magic actually do that? Maybe. It could also have left me a drooling vegetable. It crushed me to think he found that absurd risk preferable to scandal. Part of me has always hoped he didn't really want to go through with it. If he had. I can't even imagine the person I would be now. I wouldn't like that, Dorian. Are you all right? No, not really. Thank you for bringing me out there. Even if it didn't work out. Maker knows what you must think of me now, after that whole display. I think you're very brave. Brave? It's not easy to abandon tradition and walk your own path. At any rate, time to drink myself into a stupor. It's been that sort of day. Join me sometime, if you've a mind. I don't know what you think you're doing. I'm being clucked at by a hen, evidently. Don't play the fool with me, young man. If I wanted to play the fool, I could be rather more convincing, I assure you. Your glib tongue does you no credit. You'd be surprised at the credit my tongue gets me. I, I just want to listen to this. Alright, I'm going to end it right there for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this session of Dragon Age Inquisition, and I hope you guys come back.